Hey guys, we're back with episode two. And man, my life has been a whirlwind lately, guys. Like, I'm so happy to be doing videos again, and I'm really, really happy that we're actually getting eyes on our videos. Even though they're annoying, they're uh, they make money, so that's awesome. But um, man, I just my grades, they they just they just plummeted. They they didn't they weren't doing well at all. And I didn't understand this scene at first. Quick explanation. He wet himself. I I didn't make the connection at first. I, I, had, I had no idea. But, um... Anyways, yeah. My, my grades went down heavily. And, uh, I, you know, I, I sat down, looked at myself. I was like, JJ, these are not the grades you should be getting. You gotta, uh, you gotta hello? pick up the slack, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I did. Uh, I'll be in today's and, um... And it it turned out well. I just had a no, I just no, had like just a, a, just a yesterday away. actually. I just had a win, like three tests. No, no, it's okay. You know, right there. AP yeah. US history, uh, physics, and uh, and AP English. Yeah. Just wham, just yeah. And when I first saw that scene, I thought he was walking out into the open with his underwear, but he's just walking to the bathroom. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, guys uh. Little tip of advice for so like, playing a romance game, I guess it's fitting. Yeah. Little tip of advice never, oh, uh, never, uh, ever let a girl bring down today? your grades. Well, no, because I got I got too caught up with a girl that I liked and when it didn't go through and it didn't work out, I, I my grades they just went down. So just a uh, friendly tip of advice, you know. Just, uh, if you guys are younger and you guys are in that phase where you guys are just, you know, looking for love and you guys really want somebody, I, you know, I, th I think you guys really need to think about focusing on your grade, focusing on your hobbies, and not worrying about it too much. Because you worry about it too much, it can affect you heavily in the long run like it did with me, like how it affected me with my grades. And, you know, and I was sad for a period of time and just, you know, not good. So just don't make it the center of your life. Like, like Vincent's doing, but um, back to the game. That's my little spiel, my my little philosophical spiel of the uh, of the night. My mother's been calling me up. And um, yeah, she's bossy, guys. Um, I mean, I think I think not 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 the girl I was talking about before, but this one, the librarian chick. Um, yeah, bossy guys. Just like. Like, in the she's pretty in her own way. Like, she's got, like, a, a prettiness about her, but it's not in, like, the same, like, open, upfront, look at my cleavage type way as, uh, as Blondie. This is an interesting scene. Shows what happens if you, uh, if you fall down in your dream. You don't just go curse splat and end up all bloodied in the bed. Bloodied, bloodied in the bed. <laughs> um, yeah, you end up like that, like all, all, all like, uh, like, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, like, so, I don't know if that reference worked, I hope it did, and this is the bar that they go to all the time, ironically enough, called the Stray Sheep, but you figure why, pseudo figure why why it's called that? But, um, she says she's not worried about uh, I like the art direction they took in this game, but then again, um, because, you know, I love anime, but, um, I don't like what they did here with the, I usually, in anime, when they incorporate CGI, it's kind of like a no-no for me, it's like, I look at it and it's just, uh, you know, it's, eh, it's alright, I mean, it looks, it looks okay, just, I feel like CGI just doesn't have its place yeah, in anime. So, so when it goes full CGI, I'm very, you know, no very pleasant. It looks kids, pretty good. Wow. You married, huh? Hey, oh, and this game has a really good soundtrack. If you guys have been listening to some of the tracks in the background, probably not since you guys have been listening to me talking. But uh, it comes, as I said in the prior video, it comes with a soundtrack. And the soundtrack is, is excellent. But... I really wish, like, like, what they did with the soundtrack is they focused on the nightmare stages. So it's all, you know, it's all the orchestrated tracks. And what's actually what's cool about the orchestrated tracks of the nighttime version or of the nighttime levels is that they're based on actual orchestrated pieces. Like, I can't really name any of them, but like, I can name like you know the names like Beethoven and uh, 
<laughs> this is embarrassing. Beethoven and uh, a couple other guys. I mean, if you're if you're like a, a big classical music uh, aficionado, I'll, I'll I'll look it up and, and I'll, I'll mention it again in video because obviously there's more than Beethoven, but uh, it's based on many orchestral talents. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, pieces. So it's pretty cool. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room. Yeah, and a uh, cool part about this game. Uh, yeah, the way that hey, I love I love when his eyes goes like yeah. that. But um, mystery death on the nose. Your choices, you really see your choices affect the game, and I like that a lot. Like uh, I give an example. Um, Epic Mickey is a game that uh that tried to do the same thing. Is by uh, the name's a Specter, right? Warren Specter. I hey, I don't know. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's very, it's very uh, famous for a lot of other games that he did that that are uh, that are good, apparently. And um, and I played Epic Mickey, and I got one ending, but then I didn't play it again, and I, and I, you know, I traded it in. And the thing about it is just, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, it's just, it doesn't feel like... Anything else you do could change the ending that significantly. That's the thing about Epic Mickey, because I feel like what Disney did is that they didn't want his, uh, you know, they didn't want him to, you know, damage, I guess, the Disney image, because, you know, Disney's all sensitive about that. Because what I originally thought the game was going to be, and I think what they intended the game to be, was the uh you know an evil evil uh scale and a uh, good scale and then it was more like a you know less good scale and a more good scale uh, you know it just and when you got to the ending like i tried i tried to like uh increase my thinner and the thinner and that game was what uh erased objects in the world that's what i tried to increase and it feels like the ending really would have not been that much different if i had increased the you know increase the uh the paint so what i like about this game is you really really see the repercussions of what you do like let's say you know you don't really talk to a uh to i don't know you don't really talk to like somebody at the bar that much you could see them you know they could be gone the next day and you could never see them again or if you talk to them at the bar a lot their lives could be saved because all these people that you see at the bar, well, not yet, because, you know, it's it's doing the phone thing. But all the people that you talk to and see at the, and interact with at the bar, they could be gone, completely gone the next day. Just because uh, they're, they're in the nightmare dreams with you, too. So, not that you know that much about the nightmare dreams yet, but uh, texting. Texting's a, actually a big part of this game. So, um... Alright, let me just, actually, I'll just read it out loud for you guys. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Most of them, most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. <sighs> My god, she just, she really, really wants you to get married with her. That's, uh, that's also something about, uh, Catherine of the K. She really wants you to tie that knot. And since I've been talking, you probably, probably missed sight of the cutscene, but, yeah, she wants you to really get married to her. So, in the middle of that. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. So, how would I actually actually meant, uh, reply to this? Because last time, I just tried to be a complete douche. Let's see. Does it bother you? You're overthinking it. Sorry, can't think right now. Sorry, can't think right now seems like the most ass asshole-ish thing. What would I do though? Cause I'm, I actually am a man that's scared of commitment. So, uh, but I would be nice. Cause considering if I've had this girlfriend for a long time, I'd probably be a nice guy about it. So it doesn't bother you. I worry about it too sometimes. Eh, maybe too. Nah. I like that. We should work at our own pace. Maybe we should talk about this. Good night. Dremho safe. Okay then. Yeah. 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 I like that. All right. Send this message. And there's our morality meter. Into the blue we go. So, uh, to the custom, to all customers, do we really want to read this? Sure. When you spend time in the stray sheep, you will receive text messages. 
You can even reply to some of these messages. <laughs> oh, oh, wonderful. We can even reply to text messages? Depending on how you reply, Vince's feelings and those of the persons he is writing to may change. See, it's very, very player-driven experience. When you press the confirm button, the new line will be up. Uh, okay, we, we already did all this. So, uh, there, yeah, it's going to talk about the uh, morality meter. Awesome. Alrighty guys, I'm going to cut it here, Just and this is going to be the end of episode 3, you right when he spam? pulls out his phone. Yep, okay. Alright guys, this is the end of episode 3, and I will see you guys in the next, in the next episode. Goodbye.